I resigned after this call. Written by Brian Karlovitz. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hi, my name's Jessica. I'm. I'm not sure how to describe this exactly, but there's a woman in my front yard who looks like she needs help. Uh, is she injured, ma'am? Uh, not that I can see. She's got a baby in her arms, and there's another woman next to her who looks quite a bit older. Her mother, maybe? I'm just worried. You know, with this snowstorm and all, neither one of them have a hat or gloves on or anything. I understand, ma'am. Uh, where, what's your address? It's, um... I see. Is that closer to... Or... It's about half a mile north of... Got it. You're a ways out there then, huh? Yep. Listen, I'm here at the front door, and... Do you, do you think I should invite them inside? They keep glancing towards the house. There's something about that younger woman, the one with the baby. She looks just... not right. Uh, she's distressed, ma'am? Well, not exactly. It's her smile. She's got eyebrows arched way up like she's real surprised. But it's... She looks, um, manic? Hungry? Uh, I don't... Oh, listen to me. How silly I sound. Ma'am, would you be comfortable... Oh, God. Oh, my well, God. What's going on here, ma'am? They're playing catch... Pardon? They're playing catch. Holy fucking shit. I mean, what the... It's gotta be a prank. You're kidding me. It's... I'm in insane. What? Of all the things... Uh, Jessica, we need you to take some deep breaths for me. Are you there, ma'am? Uh, the, the baby. They're playing catch with the baby. And there's something attached to it, like a rope or something. Hol Holy shit, I think that's the umbilical cord. Uh, they're throwing the baby? Yes, back and forth like it's a sack of this. I can't believe this. Do, do you think I should? Ma'am, I need you to listen to me very carefully. Do not attempt to intercede. It could escalate the situation. We've got an officer on the way. I need you to stay on the line and keep me appraised of the situation until he arrives. Can you do that for me, Jessica? Yes. They're, they're still tossing the baby back and forth. They keep looking this way and smiling. The older lady, too, and oh my, there's something not right about that grin. It's giving me the chills. The older one had something shiny in her hand before. I think it, it might have been a knife or a gun at, or something. She put it back in her coat, but... Um, is your door locked, ma'am? Yes, I'm at the front door. The back one should be locked, too. I think, I mean, my husband should have closed it on his way out. Okay. You need to go and check the back door. Make sure that it's locked, okay? Okay, I'm going. It's going to take a minute with the storm. All the lights are out. I'm here with you, Jessica. Just stay on the line with me, and we'll get you through this. Okay. I thank you. Okay. All right. All right. I'm at the back door, and it, it's locked. I'm returning to the front of the house now. All right. Good job, Jessica. You're doing great. I'm back here at the front door, and... Oh... Oh my. What? What's going on? They've got blood smeared on their faces. Both of them. Can you tell me where the blood came from? The younger woman still has the baby in her arms. I can't tell if it's okay or not. Oh my god. My god. It looks like they... It looks like they wrote on themselves with it like a C or a sickle or something. It's on both of their foreheads. And the younger one, is she? Oh no. 
Uh, she's licking her hand. Um, can you tell if the baby is okay, ma'am? I, I can't hear anything. All I can see is that the younger woman still has the baby tucked in her arm. Oh, no. Oh, please tell me. Well, what's going on? What's going on, ma'am? I just realized that I left the sunroom window cracked open earlier. The wood stove's next to it, and it's getting too hot in there. Could someone get in through the house through it? It's small, but it's low. Yes, I think they could. You need to go and close that right now, Jessica. Okay? Can you do that for me? Okay, I'm on my way, and... Oh, shit. They're walking around the side of the house, too. How do they know what I'm doing? All the lights are off here. I need... Okay, I need you to stay calm here, Jessica. Okay? The old lady just made eye contact with me again. She's still leering at me. I mean, how is she doing that? How does she know that I'm right here? Right here? Deep breaths, Jessica. I need you to stay calm for me. I'm going. I'm going. I'm walking down the hall, almost to the sunroom. We've got an officer en route, Jessica. And he's only three or four minutes away. I'm going to have to shut that window in the sunroom. Then lock yourself in the safest room possible, okay? Maybe a bathroom or a bedroom. Whatever has the sturdiest lock. Okay. Can you see them from the hallway? There is a window, but I can't see either of them. I can hear footsteps in the snow, though. They're wrapping around the side of the house, heading toward the backyard. Okay. Almost done, Jessica. Just a couple of minutes, and this will be all over. Okay. Okay. I made it. I'm in the sunroom. Did you close the window? I'm a. I'm about to... Ma'am? <gasps> They're coming in. Oh my god, no! Is it the woman with the weapon? Ma'am, who's coming in? It's not her. Is it the younger woman? The one with the baby? It, it's not her either. It's, it's the baby. The baby is crawling in here. Oh my god, no. no. Ma'am. Ma'am. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. And if that mockingbird don't sing, Mama's gonna buy you a diamond ring. That was... I resigned after this call, written by Brian Karlovitz.